Intelligence pulled from Osama bin Laden's compound in Pakistan has authorities watching the rails tonight. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson joins us now with new information on how Ohio is responding to an alert. Ohio was made aware of this potential threat by the federal government, but it says that it does not believe there's any immediate concern. However, they are staying vigilant. The state is keeping a close watch on trains and railroads after receiving an alert from federal authorities. Ohio's Homeland Security Director says the warning came from intelligence gathered at Osama bin Laden's compound. It is believed bin Laden was planning to derail trains, possibly on the upcoming 10-year anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. The state says the idea of this kind of threat is not new. That's what they do. They're actively trying to kill Americans, and what we are actively trying to do is protect Ohioans. Today, the president and vice president were in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, to thank the two dozen Navy SEALs who stormed bin Laden's compound. The meeting took place behind closed doors. In public, he thanked the rest of the troops for bringing Osama bin Laden's reign of terror to an end. Thanks to the incredible skill and courage of countless individuals, intelligence, military, over many years, the terrorist leader who struck our nation on 9-11 will never th uh, threaten America again. Hours earlier, bin Laden's death was confirmed by a surprising source, Al-Qaeda. The terrorist organization warned of stepped-up attacks in an upcoming audio message, bin Laden's last. Intelligence analysts won a writing sample from bin Laden to compare it to documents that discussed the possible train attacks. Meanwhile, local riders acknowledge the risk. I could just get on and, and carry anything, you know, I guess, uh, and it is a concern. Again, the state says there is no immediate threat posed by the information out of bin Laden's compound and with hundreds of miles of track. The state says it will take the public's help to keep the rail safe. I'm Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.